All right, so let's make sure that uh, we're using the same person here. So the, it, this is a little trick that I like using with, here's soldier, here's my soldier FBX. I'm pretty sure that this is the same soldier as over here, but if you look at, it's not. This is soldier, and this is soldier FBX. Uh, make sure when you start doing the animation thing that you're not going down the path of ruin. Uh, in other words, you can see everything in Unity, whether it be an OBJ, whether it be an FBX, or whatever. So, I'm going to delete this guy out of the scene. If I'm adding a new animation, um, I want to make sure I'm using the same one. Also, you can see that since I have two things set up, I don't want to go that route. So, I want to do a reveal and finder. And you can see what I've done. I got a soldier FBX, which is an FBX document, and I got another one that's FBX. Um, and let's look at my materials for a second here. Okay, and that would be the materials under soldier. And you can see I have an FBX, Lambert, which is diffuse, and I have a soldier, which is transparent. So to to make it easy, what I want to do is name him Soldier, not Soldier FBX. Unless I wanted to turn these to transparency and then I can export them as Soldier FBX. That's a good way to tell which which one you're doing or if you got several things going on at once. Check them your materials, see what you're, you're using as your material. And that means if I went to export them as Soldier, Soldier is the one updating. Is FBX really important? Probably not, and I should probably delete it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move him to trash. Okay. All right, and that also gives you the path at which you need to save it out. So it's object, soldier, then soldier. So in Maya, now that that old one is deleted and I only got one going on, uh, I want to do an export all. And there's my soldier and an export place. And it should pop up with a new thing here too. That was weird that it didn't do that. Oh, see what it did? It exported as an OBJ. So again, <laughs> yeah. Get rid of the OBJ. And also with an OBJ comes everything else. So there we go. Now let's try that again. Export all and turn it to FBX soldier. That's a nice thing about exporting an OBJ at least. And ex exporting an OBJ equals all the cool files that go along with it. I'm just going to export this with the current scale. I don't want to mess up scale yet. And here's what it is, animation, curve, tangent, type. Okay. So when I added those last two keyframes, were they tangent? Here's all my stuff. If I F, I can zoom in. And you can see right here, here's a non linear so there we go now we can get rid of that um, warning good alright so let's look at it in unity see what happened see if anything 
he is still cut out, so that equals the good stuff. Also, let's make sure he works just fine as far as his animations based upon scale. So I'm just going to hit F and hit play, and you're going to see him play once and then play down. Good. All right, now what we have to do is split his animations, and we do that. Get rid of that. Go back into Soldier, and we're going to have to name them. So we're going to have to name this one uh, Fire Mid, because I, I haven't just cleared up yet. So maybe I want to do an up later on. And Fire Down. In case you want to see what that looks like, it's in Fire Mid, Fire Down, what frames? Well, I know, I know back here, if I look, Frame 30 is where it cuts off. Frame 35 is where it starts. It ends at 65. So that means over here in Unity that this is going to be frame 30. It's going to start back on 35 and it's going to end at 65. And I want this split animations because right now it's playing both animations. Now it'll play them based upon scripts and I can name them fire up or fire mid, fire down. I want to keep this mode default because I want to be able to script this. We can always script once, loop, or clamp forever, or ping pong, or whatever inside just by using different animation, uh, see, animation triggers on that occurrence. So you don't want to, uh, you, can, you can look at a loop here, but it would be easier to script a loop. Okay, that's good, that's good. Play automatically, good. Hit apply. So that takes precedence over any time I use a character from now on. So if I click and drag this character out, he's always going to have the same attributes now. Okay. All right, now I can scale him up and put him back in his box. Make sure he plays right, good. And his soldier box is right here. I don't think I want him this big anymore. I want him a little smaller because I want to be able to test him out a little bit better. And he's more scaled to uh, the player, not so huge. There, that'll work. So I can tuck the soldier into his box, hit play, everything should work out just fine. Good. All right, now on to the fun stuff of writing scripts to trigger animations.